Hey guys, AMZ back to guys from Love Brave. Today I'm wearing a jacket and uh you can see Pokemon over here. Pretty cool. Am I right? Well, let me just explain what today's video is gonna be doing. I know lots of videos have been coming out about like stuff like this. Um stuff like if I or the YouTuber was a champion and that would be their team my team is a bit of a harder team than normal i did not look at stat totals i just picked decent and strong pokemon from a champion team for a generation that I, or like a generation like i'd call it 8.5 because it uses nearly every gen well, generation like one through eight like not everyone from one through eight but like pokemon from that range because so I'm gonna call my gen 8.5 it's just kind of like boosts and like some changes kind of but this is my team if I was a wait wait, wait what the, if I was a dragon electric and ghost type either gym leader or just champion so I would start off with a dragon air as at the beginning which knows dragon pulse Blizzard to deal with well, all the grass types. Uh, flamethrower, again, for the grass types because we. Yeah. Uh, and Dragon Tail, with its ability being Marvel Skill. I'm really not talking about my abilities. I just put them down because I need them. Next is my Haunter, which is my attacking, like, ghost type. Which no Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Ghost, Confuse Ray to confuse the target, and Ally Switch just in case it gets too low. Which then, if he uses Ally Switch, I'll be swapping into Haxorus, my Dig, Earthquake, Draco Meteor, and Dragon Dance Haxorus with Rivalry as its ab ability. Which then, I'll send out Ambrose, which is a Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave. Thunder Punch and Brick Break and Frost. So all the other ones are like Thunder Bolt, Thunder Wave, and Thunder Punch are like, since it's an electric type, Thunder Wave is the Paralyze, but Brick Break is for the ground types that are inevitable to come. Because if you look over here, you probably can't see it, but it does say I have, actually I'm pretty strong against it against the ground it says you won't be able to see it but it does say one times uh strength or it's like it's not super effective against dragon air it's too I, I really don't understand this guys okay i'm not gonna talk about that anymore but then after that i'll send up ghastly i know i might already have a haunter but change do this all the time this isn't even a normal haunter this is a Haunter that will not even hit you once. It is to set up for my ace, which will come after it, and I'll have to say something about that. Um, basically, my Ghastly will have cap all all status moves captivate. I put it in there because disable to disable whichever move that they're using a lot. Double team to make sure that they can't hit that much of me, and we can keep Ghastly in. And hypnosis to confuse it and use confusion to technically do damage but at the same time not but then the pokemon you've been waiting for a derulodon that knows giga impact flash cannon and dragon claw which has the ability heavy metal am i right basically my derulodon will be a gigantamax derulodon and very strong and annoying to deal with. I don't know what to say anymore. I guess. Um, well, I guess that's the end of today's video. Peace out.